Welcome to a new historical torture video, TikTokers. Today, we explain one of the worst punishments, the Falaris Bull. It was an instrument of torture whose name is attributed to Falaris, tyrant of Acargas, present-day Agrigento, Sicily. The victims were introduced inside a bronze statue in the shape of a bull, which was hollow inside. This sculpture was placed on top of a bonfire, causing the temperature inside to rise enormously, turning it into an oven. Legend has it that Falaris ruled over the Greek Empire, where Perileus lived, a metal worker who wanted to earn money with his trade. He decided to create for him a bronze bull in which he could put the enemy inside and heat it up to the point that he was cooked. This way, he would have a new method of torture for all the condemned. Perilaus appeared to sell the bull to the tyrant and obtain a good sum of money. However, Falaris was known for his unpredictable reactions and extreme cruelty. And when the time came to test the invention, he ordered his subordinates to test it with the creator himself. The victim was introduced through the back of the animal, where there was a door that was closed. They later lit a bonfire just below the bronze structure. When heated, the metal became red hot. The temperature rose before reaching 100 degrees. Perilaus could hardly breathe and shortly after, he was already dead. This form of torture, as it occurred inside a sculpture, didn't allow people to see the suffering suffered by the condemned. Therefore, to increase the fear produced by that punishment, the inventor left a bull's mouth open so that the odors and vapors that were produced when cooking the body came out through it. In this way, when the condemned man screamed in pain, the sound that came out of the hole was similar to the blowing of a bull. But not only the creator of the contraption died inside it, but also Falaris, who ended up being burned inside his own bull after a popular uprising, led by Telemachus in 554 before Christ. Pindar, a famous classical Greek poet who lived more than a century later, associated this instrument of torture with the name of the tyrant. It is said that the bull of Falaris certainly existed in Agrigento, and that it was transferred to Carthage by the Carthaginians when the city was taken by Scipio the Greater, and that the bull and other stolen works of art were returned to their city thanks to Scipio the Lesser, who put an end to the Third Punic War. Falaris' torment was even mentioned by Aristotle, Although, without going into much detail when speaking of depraved actions, the Romans were reputed to have used this method of torture to kill some Christians, such as Saint Eustace, who according to tradition was roasted on a bronze bull with his wife and children by the Emperor Hadrian. The same thing happened to Saint Antipas, a bishop who was roasted to death on another bronze bull in AD 92. In some museums dedicated to the instruments of torture in history, you can find reproductions of this bull, which gives us an idea of the worst side of the human being and how far the creative imagination could go to create terror and pain. If you enjoyed this video, don't forget to like it. And if you want to see more Draw My Life videos, subscribe to our channel. See you in the next episode.